here we are. And <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're actually at the best camp I think we've ever been to. But let's get to how we got here. And what... You say that with every single camp. Yeah, but this is the best one, isn't it? It's very good. But anyway, we'll get to where it is in a minute. We started out a couple of days ago leaving Bribey. We went across the bridge there. <laughs> um, went to, not Younger Borough. Yarraman. Yarraman. I can never remember the name, but it starts with Y. Went to Yarraman, and what did you reckon of that camp? I I loved Yarraman. It was pretty cool. Yeah. We were right by the stream there, no one else around. Um, they had toilets there, they had... Um, well, we, we said, what didn't they have? The only thing they didn't have was fire pits. Yeah. And warm water? Is yeah, warm and, and, and hot water and stuff like that, showers. But we've got to let the van. But yeah, I'd say when there's a bit of water going through there, you could swim in that water, and yeah. it was... Um, Hey, it was quite nice there. Oh, it was lovely. Nice walk. Um, a lot of history, I think. I didn't want to be updates anyway when we were leaving. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a, uh, we did the rail trail, a bit of riding. Yep. There was a um, a ghost horse as well. Ali reckons she saw a horse in the paddock. Absolutely no way. We went over and had a look at the paddock. No horse anywhere. Absolutely load of crap. About an hour later, another paddock. Oh, and there's that horse we saw. So it had decided to wander away, so... For those Slight who don't apology. know, I used to work at Aussie Outback Spectacular where they have 80 horses. I know what a freaking horse looks like. But this was a disappearing horse. Anyway, we won't have that argument here. <laughs> um, and from um, from Yarraman, we went to the Bunya Mountains. Oh, um, and that was just spectacular. The Down drive there. the drive up here is not suitable for caravans. And it's not. Yeah, I'd have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> It was and the very... drive down is especially not good for yeah. caravans. Let's go through that. So it's pretty much a sealed road, little patches of gravel, but it's really the steepness of going up there. Um, we went up from the Yarraman side, obviously, up to up to Bunya Mountains. And, yeah, we were down in second gear, and it was pulling hard to get up there, but we, we got there. I think if you had a bigger van than us, a big touring van or whatever, yeah, you'd be... It. You'd be pulling shit uphill, I think. Yeah. Um, anyway, we went to the camp. The camp was fantastic. Uh, might, might talk about the going downhill bit in a minute. Um, the camp was fantastic. What a really cool place of bird life. That is um, national parks. So yep, seven bucks a night, I think. Seven each. bucks a night each. Yeah. And they have um, the most wonderful treks or hikes. Um, easy, hard. You got a multitude yeah. of. We we just did the little. We did the what's called the scenic track. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that was sort of just a four kilometre one. Four okay. k's. That was nice. Yeah. Um, that'd be a nice challenge for people that don't walk a lot and. And um, just the scenery, the bunya trees and bunya pines, mm. and uh, now they've got just so you know they've got yeah they've got free showers as well, which is really nice, especially if you've had a long hike. Good showers too. Yeah, good showers. Good pressure, there's, hot water. Yeah. There's an area. It's actually a unisex shower, um, shower area, but that's actually got um big deep sinks and sinks in, so you could do your washing. Got it's got power points there, so you can charge those, your phones. If those you sinks to. you could like you could wash your cow in there or anything <laughs> you wanted to really. It's right next to the information centre, uh, and um, they actually had a big screen and seats there, so you could have. Yeah, it I looks think, like they have a movie night yeah, or something. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, which is pretty cool for a um, for a national park. Oh, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and lush green thick um, everything grass <laughs> and loads of wildlife. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Cool. A lot of roos yeah. jumping around. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, I would have loved to have stayed longer. Yeah, but it's cold. Yeah, it was a bit of cool air coming through. We're what mid January, but you could definitely tell you're Darren up on a mountain. Doesn't feel it. I feel the cold <laughs> straight away, so I was I've taken limited warm clothes. Yeah, um, but there was enough. We had enough. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice yeah. there, yeah. and um, then we did the downhill drive um, with the caravan going downhill, and that was a worry. Uh, we had the brakes. You know, we were, I was, I was um, engine braking everywhere I could. Mm. I was actually chopping it into first gear because the caravan's pushing us down the hill. I don't want to be chewing the brakes out. We were really heading towards to... Dolby too, weren't we? So just, you know, that we was were heading... coming back a different way. Actually, we were going to head towards Bell, which is the kind of the same direction. Um, and we were low on gas, actually. We only had about, I don't know. 60 kilometres. 60 k's of gas or something. But we made it into, we turned off and went into Dolby. But going down that hill, yeah, those brakes mm. were pretty hot at the bottom. It was good to give it a little run at the bottom, cool everything down again. And skinny as roads. Narrow, so, yeah. We yeah. ran into a guy coming up the other way. He had a great rate of knots, which was, didn't even slow down, nothing. It was a bit scary. I actually mm. locked the wheels up, actually, at that point. 
Um, yeah, and you're really high up, so. Yeah, and you're a long way up, so a long way down. Um, <laughs> but it was, um, that was a good, good drive into Dolby. Got diesel, got the cheapest damn diesel we've seen in like 300 years. Um, $1.89.50. Yeah, yeah. That's unreal. No, $1.89.50. Okay, so that was at um, Dolby. There's also, as you drive in from the Bunya, Bunya Mountains, they had Coles, Aldi, and food works all in a row just before the United yeah. <laughs> service station. I went, you know, I went and filled up so. with fuel while Ellie went to McDonald's. I didn't go to McDonald's. I was <laughs> searching for coriander and mint everywhere. I kept going to all the stores. Anyway, I found coriander. Yeah. Can't find mint anywhere. Yeah. And um, we drove from Dolby to Chinchilla. 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 What a nice little place. And we're at this camp now. It's called... Um, the Beautiful Ch place. Shit Road. Warrigo Highway. Oh, they, yeah. They are Get doing a fucking act to together it. council, man. And actually, one, one interesting thing. Our radio wasn't working on, on part of the trip um, on the Warrigo Highway. Now, at the same time, as we were leaving Dolby, we heard this um, this truck driver. Just before the radio stopped working. Yeah, just yeah. before the radio stopped working. Um, we heard this truck driver, and he said, oh, something's going on. I've just been to the... Um, Past the police station. Police station. And he said, there's no coppers there at all, and we couldn't see any around town, and either could that um, truckie. Uh, then the radio stopped working. And, and we were doing our best to speed. <laughs> couldn't see him. And then the, um, the, radio, the radio stopped, stopped working. working. There was no comms at all on it. Uh, we're trying to call up a truck right up our ass and let him pass and all that. And there was no response, you know. No. So um, it wasn't Shoot. until this morning that we saw that there was um, a shooting incident in Tara, not the one with the um, with the where the cops died. No, but, no, but um, no, and nobody got shot, but they got shot at. Um, so it looks like that. And all where... the cops are called out there, so yeah. they must have shut the radio down yeah, or something. We I don't know. Shut the radio down because the radio's really work working fine now, isn't it? So... Yeah. Anyway, that's all theory. Anyway. So we're at we're at Chin we're, we're at Chinchilla Campground, uh, Chinchilla Weir, and I'm not sure if it's run by Seagwater or the council. I think it's Seagwater looking at the sign. Anyway, whoever runs this campground, you've done a fucking amazing we love job. You. This we is love the best. You. You're awesome. What a cool campground! Bloody hell! Why the hell can't they do this everywhere? And it's like it's got um, a lake here. It's got um, um, toilets. It's got a playground. Uh, there's, there's an area here it has got big rings of um, for like um, barbecues for communal people can all sit around and fire pits. Have, have a sing along. They're called fire pits, darling. Oh yeah, fire pits, and yeah. um, a little kitchen here. And they're it's, called jam sessions. Yeah, and they've got powered caravan sites. There's about ten or fifteen here, yeah. and they're free. What the hell? And it's the best damn scenery we've seen in a oh. long time. Beautiful. It's Absolutely unreal. Beautiful. So I'll put some drone stuff around. You'll see what's here. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we're going to stay, probably, we might stay till the end of the year, like another 300 days. <laughs> we're never going to make it to Darwin. <laughs> Actually, there's, I think there's a 48 hour limit staying yeah, here. So we can probably so stay for 49 hours because we do like to break the rules. <laughs> um, we've, and, been for, we've been for a bike ride this morning as well. Out to the uh, bike this this girl's got exercise thing going crazy oh, and no, so no. damn proud of her. She's doing really well. So it's really cool. It's inspiring me. I got up this morning and only ate half a hamburger for breakfast. So it's pretty good. Well, hey. We're trying. We're trying. We're we are trying. trying. We're both going for little rides and doing some yeah. stretches and things. That's really good to see. Um, and we've got a 2.30 appointment this afternoon because we're going to get this mm. damn wheel sorted. We've still got the squeak in the wheel. Can't work out what the hell it is. So we ran into um, Hammer from Toyota Chinchilla. I think he's the manager there. He was actually the fire... Um, volunteer fiery. Volunteer fiery. And they were out here at the dam training some recruits. And nice got night. yak at him. What a bloody nice guy. Yeah. Actually, he's a really nice guy. And he told us to go and have a chat to um, Cherie at Toyota there. And she's awesome too. She was really nice. So I ducked into the Toyota really and they booked us at the 2.30 to have a look yeah. at the wheel. With off, I just feel a lot better before we carry on. I'm well, it's on the passenger side, which is my side, so I don't really want that falling <laughs> off. That's why we haven't hurried, you know. <laughs> but we'll get to it. But um, um, so, so we'll, we'll I don't know if, you, if you've been watching us. This actually started in Cairns, didn't it? That noise. I think it did. Yeah. Oh, I it mean, did too, because in Cairns we took it into that yeah. place. That, look at that. So we've had it. Che we had it checked there. So it's done um, about eight thousand k since then. Yeah, you've taken the wheel off. Had a look. Um, yeah. I actually so put some silicon and stuff in there actually, um, and it stopped it for a while. Yeah. But 
I don't know. It's, it's almost a, oh, I don't know, it's a weird sound. It doesn't look like it's a brace. But anyway, we will report on what that is when we one day find out. Yeah. Um, and the fire, fire engines last night were really exciting. They were doing the, uh, the training, Wednesday night training for the new uh, volunteers. And um, they had all the hoses out, they were watering all the gardens out here, practicing, you know. The, the fireys were actually dipping their hoses in the water, so you can see why Ali was all over there. <laughs> you know, taking photos of them. <laughs> You'll see, words. I've got photos of trucks for our, for oh, our, oh. for our grandson Jet, because he, he loves, he um, loves trucks. trucks yeah. So, yeah, there's none of the fireys. Sorry, yeah. girls. And reporting on the solar panel, it's going freaking fantastic. Um, Thank you, Fuse. Read from Fused Electrical Fused in the Gold on the Coast. Gold Coast. Um, check that dude out. He knows his shit. Get in there and get that done. Yep. Get what you need done because he's all over this four wheel drive it's, stuff. That's brilliant. Um, pretty cool. So, we're under yeah. trees. It's not, not fantastic under trees, but we've found the cloud and all this thing's been smashing it. Yeah. It's unreal. So really happy. We've, really, we've, really we've happy. increased our solar from 300 to 700 watts, but the flat panels he's put up have been great. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So really, we're really excited about that. It's going yeah. to change our whole camping experience, actually. Yeah. It actually has. It's taken a lot of Already. stress. It already has, a lot yeah. We were always watching us. what power we had. Now we don't give a shit. We're plugging everything. No, well, down. now we watch it and we, only because we're so excited. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's full. <laughs> we can't. Actually, I tried flattening the battery. I can't even do it. There's too, too much bloody light around now. So that's pretty cool. So that's and, a, No, yep. no, we had a Red Valley Black in the showers. Well, we... We haven't seen we, it, we but it's been reported it. around the camp been here at Chinchilla. Reported, yeah. Yeah. So, which means there's some snakes around here. We which is really weird being Australia. Hey. <laughs> well, yeah. we try to find them, but with these leaves all around us, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm uh, not too fussed about the red belly blacks. They're not, they're, they sort of take off, don't yeah. they? And very exciting update on the fishing here at the lake. Update on my fishing. Still nothing. No changes. Not there. a damn, but no changes. But. <laughs> And I have got the rod in. Chinchilla, what is it known for? Would you believe? Watermelon. Watermelon. It's the watermelon capital of the world. I saw the big melon this morning when I went and I booked it in the car actually. Did you? Yeah. So another interesting fact actually about Chinchilla was many years ago Governor Phillip brought the prickly pear to Sydney or New South Wales. What governor, you know, way back in the old days. But prickly pear like, is like, the, you know, the cactus, the cactus that you see on the sides of the road. And everywhere. he brought it in because he wanted to dye some uniforms green in the army and stuff like that. Which, you know, it's kind of a freaky idea. Anyway. Sure it, he wasn't trying to make tequila? I don't know. What, we, well, who really knows? Mr. Anyway, it took off. It spread all around Australia and became a big problem everywhere to the point where you could not even use paddocks over millions yeah. of hectares. And the solution was they brought in a moth. And the moth has spread and eaten the cactus and all the rest of it. And There's, then they then they could sell the land again and stuff. There was a big reward, wasn't there? They were putting out a big reward yeah, it was for like a, someone who could get yeah, rid of it. I think it was a million pounds or something. Anyway, it's all, on, it's all on Google. I might publish a bit of it below. Yeah. And um, anyway, this moth did a fantastic job. Um, this moth was paraded with ticker tape parades and what have you. And in Chinchilla, they have a memorial to the moth. Or a hall, a memorial hall, I think, to the moth. So there you go. And they have a big watermelon. Yeah. And they have a watermelon festival yeah. in February. Yeah, but I, I think the moth thing's pretty cool. But the um, it is the largest and most successful biological um, experiment, I suppose you could say, worldwide ever. There you go, right here in Chinchilla. And you heard it from Daz and Ali. And that's why you go camping with a history geek. Because otherwise we'd miss all this incredible information. And we've been driving along going, hey look, there's a cactus. Now we know it's the moth a, missed it. It's actually not a cactus, it's a prickly pear. The moth missed that one. You know? On that note. Yeah, we're going to sign off. That's a big long update, but anyway. <laughs> we'll, we'll update you again with more boring adventures from us. Bye. See ya. <laughs>
gave a sequence. And it gave a sequence. Um, we'll try and, and it. we don't want to leave in Rome we're kind of on a Sunday when it's closed, so we might skip on. Because we have a tendency to do that. We're starting yeah, to like, learn. Yeah. <laughs> Realise it's Friday today. We're like, oh yeah, we're going to miss out on um, going to the shops. And, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's exciting. We um, had some friends that are staying up in Emerald and we're hoping to catch up with them. But unfortunately, we can't, so bummer. Yeah, yeah we've got bummer. sort of going the other way, so yeah. That's okay. Um, we're going to have to drink all that booze on our own, darling. No, no. Can't share it. <laughs> so having to make a few cocktails. There's never mind. <laughs> so yeah, we'll give you an update when we get to the lagoon and also... Or Roma. And Roma, so yeah. We'll get some photos of the lagoon anyway. I've got the drone up while we're there anyway. Yeah. Awesome. We got a bit of a storm happening. Yeah, just pulled off the side of the road. We found a nice tar sealed area away from all the traffic and we're out of the way. The trees actually yeah. blow and shit all over the road, so... But we have no trees next to us, just a cemetery. Yeah, just a cemetery. But there's trees everywhere. Um, but we've got this up called Dal Oh, I'm not very Judge Lagoon. I did a little video thing, so I'll put that up here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I was making lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are making lunch. Last time I was here, there was no water in it all, but there was a bit of brown water in it this time, so that was nice. So we pulled over, we were going to stay there, but we've decided to go to yeah, Roma. Yeah, it's only like an hour or something to Roma, so we've actually got that bit of shopping to do too, so we'll yeah. get that done today and then go settle and find a camp. Have we worked out where we're camping yet? Or we're 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 I'm a bit scared of getting electrocuted <laughs> in my phone. <laughs> that won't happen. I'm a bit of a scared Remember how we were in Mount Isa when I said that won't happen? Yeah, and it did. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head into Roma um, and get our supplies. So, we're going to sit here now on Wiki Camps because you can do Wiki Camps when it's um, offline. Sorry, that was lightning again. That's thunder. And, um, and we're going to see if we can find ourselves a good spot. We'll just let the weather settle down. It's just a bit dangerous to be on the road at the moment with the caravan. We've got not very much visibility, so we'll just pull off at plenty of time. Yeah. Quite safe. <laughs> We had a 
an early rise this morning. We, we had, did. We left Roma at 5.30 this morning. Just so, on daybreak, actually. Yeah, so last night um, we stayed at the Roma RSL. No, um, the bowling club. Bowling club, sorry. The bowling club. Uh, and they're kind enough to give free... Um, Free accommodation, well, you know, where you can park up uh, if you support them. So we went and had um, a buffet night, we buffet come. dinner. We well, normally do a buffet, but we thought, no. we'll be piggies. Yeah, well, do we regret that? Yes. <laughs> we do regret that. Um, so maybe just stay for a, we could have just had a few drinks um, <laughs> to support uh, their patronage. Uh, yeah. But no, we. Um, well, they were nice, nice people too. Really lovely people. Got yeah. to use their water as well. Didn't yeah, really we'll try a few raffles out, lost there. Yeah. <laughs> Shareholders in the club now. Yeah. So yeah, we um, had a look around Roma and um, saw the largest bottle tree in uh, Roma. Yep. And um, that was exciting this morning at five thirty. And uh, what else did we see in Roma? We had to get a radio uh, because the radio is shit that we've got. Yeah. So, um, we just thought we'd go with a an, an car one rather than the little handheld um, USB job. Well, we can't understand the um, truckies very well. Could I, be their accents. <laughs> I think it's the accent. And that they talk so quickly, and, uh, 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 yeah. uh, you know. Um, it might not actually be the radio, but we'll find yeah, out. The radio so. is quite correctly as well. So, yeah. so anyway, um, Darren's installed. Well, he's halfway installed. That's the first thing he did when he got to Roma. And what else? We saw the haberdashery. Well, put the area on the radio. The whole radio. Oh, you put the radio. Um, yes, we went to Ace Drapers, um, which was interesting. We'll put some video up as we're talking here. Yeah. Um, just a massive store. It used to be a department store like a long time ago. Um, but a history. It was owned by a guy, Hunter, who was like um, on the council and all rest of it. But he owned a store in Chichilla and Dolby and all around the bloody place. Lots of stores. And um, they did really well in the day. Uh, and when they sealed the roads, they ended up shutting a lot of the stores down. And the A Strait were people, the people that have got it now, bought it back in the 70s. But it's a store that's really worth having a look at. It's just massive, it's colourful, it's got everything. I made a massive purchase and bought a, um, a pretend snake for scaring people. Um, but you can buy just about anything in there. I remember last time I came through Roma many years ago, I bought a camp up in there. Yeah. Um, but it's really a drapery store. They've got every damn colour of wool. And thread you could name the day on it was just well yes cool. I'm gonna try with knitting so I'm so yeah we checked out the store it was pretty cool we just had a little uh, video it's a second ago <laughs> somebody hit the wrong button I've um, got the selfie stick on me so yeah so carry on <coughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna start learning to knit so I got some wool and some needles because um, as we head into the outback at 44 degrees I could do with a big woolly thick jumper <laughs> um, ain't gonna cool. be no jumpers and do some uh, baby blankets so. be, yeah. be with grandkids Roma quite early and we made our way to Mitchell and we went to the Artesian spa baths there and had a little soak. That was, um, video of pictures and stuff happened that was, now. That was really cool. 39 to 40 degrees in the hot pool, 28 to 29 degrees in the cold pool. Yeah, just jumping in and out of one yeah. into the other was quite good actually. And met uh, Debbie and Bridget who were awesome people. We're working there, they're yeah. really close. Cool. So Bridget made an awesome thick shake, warm <laughs> thick shake. A lovely coffee as well, actually. Yeah. And uh, Debbie used to live up in Darwin in Tipperary, so which is a long yeah. way to Tipperary. Just yeah, you know, yeah, it is. Warm, warm, and and the um, the water was so nice that um, yeah, we stayed there for what, probably an hour or something. Yeah. And I probably don't have to bath for another month now. <laughs> yes, he does. Which is pretty good. Uh, what else did we? Um, we went and had a look at the courthouse, but uh, we didn't have the code to get in the door. Yeah, it's like a pin code thing, but they don't tell you that. But if you look through the windows, you can see that it looks really interesting yeah. inside. Mm. The Kenneth, um, Kenneth Courthouse, and yep, it was, um, and Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, some um, some like really bad people got caught, uh, yeah. and there's a monument where they got arrested. It's called a rest break. Yeah. So and they tried it. Didn't see much of that, but yeah. A lot of old houses. Uh, yeah. Um, very. Yeah. Dilapidated. What's the word? Neglected. Neglected. <laughs> <laughs> Homes. And, and, and um, we stopped and had breakfast on the side of the road, just a quick little brekkie. Yeah. You went all out flat. What did you make, sweetheart? Baked beans. Baked beans with cheese in it? With cheese. Oh. Hey, you got half a wrap with it. So it went all out. It was pretty good though, actually. Hey, 
And then we got on the road from Mitchell and we're heading now, um, it's about a two hour trip to Charleville, yep. which we'll stay down there hopefully somewhere really nice. But on the way, um, photo of a blow, um, a truck was past us and the wind actually ripped our TV aerial off the roof. Yep. So that was crazy. It so um, was pretty bumpy. So, which is, um, it was kind of rolling around the roof, so I've just got up. Luckily, I brought a ladder this time. Um, and we've just cut the, I've cut the cable up there and take, put the aerial inside the van. And Because uh, we're due for rain, so we don't want the rain to get out. Yeah, there's about an inch hole or something where it goes through the roof, so I've put just some good insulation tape and shield down at the moment until we get to, I don't know, somewhere we can get some silicon and yeah. fix it up. I'm Tim like, the tall man here. Fix it up like Java would have done it as new yeah. silicon. But, um, so we'll give you an update when we get to Charleville. Charleville. Or afterwards. Or afterwards, yeah. <laughs> See ya.